All right, for the, uh, for the next problem here, we have 3.3, number 26. And uh, let's see here, all right. Um, so f of x equals x squared minus 2ax plus a squared over x minus a. So obviously the, the previous problem, we did a product rule. This time we're going to do a quotient rule. So I'll just kind of write down, oop, let's see here, there we go, quotient rule. And I kind of just like to write that down is g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x. And it goes all over gx squared. So, so that's going to be our, our, uh, our quotient rule then. And looking at this similar to the other ones, we'll call this top portion the f of x and the bottom portion the g of x. So the first thing we need to do is we need to determine g of x. Um, in this case, g of x is the bottom. So that's going to be g of x is x minus a times f prime of x. So we're taking the derivative um, of f of x with respect to x. Now, so something kind of interesting here is a squared just becomes a constant. So you can, you know, it's just a number squared is all it is. So in this case, I'm going to take the derivative of the top. This is f prime of x. Derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of negative 2ax is just negative 2a, or minus 2a. And then this a squared, the derivative of that, because it's just a constant, it doesn't have an x in it, it just goes to 0. So there is g of x times f prime of x. Then I'm going to subtract f of x, which is that whole term, x squared minus 2ax plus a squared. That's your whole f of x times g prime of x. And g prime of x then is just going to be 1 because this is a constant and x just becomes 1. So that's the whole top part. And then we need to make g of x squared on the bottom. And I'm kind of mixed, you know, at some point you need to decide whether or not you're going to expand this out or not. But your g of x down here is right here. So I'm just going to leave it right now as x minus a squared. You may discover later on that you want to expand that out because it, it may uh, cancel something out on the top. I don't see anything at this point, so I'm just going to leave it alone. So this is f prime of x. f prime of x equals that. Um, now we need to we need to do some uh, some distributing of these of these variables to try to see if there's anything we can get rid of. 2x times x is 2x squared. X times negative 2a is negative 2ax. Uh, negative a times 2x is negative 2ax again. And then finally negative a times negative 2a is negative 2a squared. Negative 2a squared. All right, and I think we're looking good so far. Well, hold on a second. I gotta make make sure I didn't screw that one up here. Negative a times negative 2a is actually a positive 2a squared. And then I can actually just write all these in now. This is a minus x squared. This is a minus a minus 2ax, which is plus 2ax. And finally, minus an a squared. And that 1 just goes away. I don't need to worry about that 1. So all of this is going to get put over the top of uh, x minus a squared on the bottom. All right, now we're going to look for things that we think we might get rid of here. Um, Looking to see if there's anything here that looks obvious here. So there's a minus 2ax. There's a plus 2ax. That goes away. Um, there's an x squared here, a minus x squared, and a 2x squared. So let's try to let's try to simplify this just a little bit. So the uh, the minus x squared is going to come from uh, from over here. Uh, so 2x squared minus x minus 1x squared just becomes um, x squared. Okay, so that takes care of this term and that term. Um, I have a minus 2ax is right there. Okay. Um, and then I have uh, I have a couple of a squared terms here too. I've got a 2a squared minus a squared, so that gives me uh, plus a squared. And I would tell you at this point I'd be pretty happy if you got this far. Um, however, you may be able to figure out that this 
um, this can factor out. Uh, let me see if I can figure out what this is. I think it's, uh, is it x minus a? So x times x, so, and then a times a, or minus a times minus a. I think this is what it's going to come out to. x times x is x squared minus ax minus ax is minus 2ax and then minus a times minus a is minus or excuse me plus a squared so this would be my 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 whoa hold on a second here <laughs> i just realized something here um so this is actually x minus a squared over x minus a squared and that's actually equal to one so the derivative in this case is just equal, equal to the constant 1. Um, you'll notice how nice that worked out, that everything on the top is an x, minus, x minus a times an x minus a um, over an x minus a times an x minus a um, actually just works out to 1. So pretty cool problem there when you think about it.